Hi everybody, welcome back to Speedway Motors. My name's Tim, I'm one of the techs here. You know I always love it when you can stop by the shop and we can talk about parts that might be helpful to you as you're building your hot rod. You know, if you've been paying attention, you know here at Speedway Motors, we offer a wide variety of parts for a plethora of different vehicles. But what's really at our core and what we always try to think of is the old school traditional cars. You know, the Model T's, the T-Buckets, you know, the Tri-5's, Mercury's, fat fendered Ford's, you name it. You know, that's always near and dear to our heart and we're working every single day to come up with new parts to offer to that market and also carry good and affordable parts for that market too. I'm one of those guys. I've got a 29 Roadster in my garage that I'm working on right now. I'm trying to build it to look like my grandpa would have built it back in the 50s. And my Hemi's all done. It's a 241 Red Ram and I'm trying to figure out what carburetors to put on the top. There are a lot of different options. I could go find some large logo old 97's, buy them off of eBay and rebuild them. We've got all the parts here at Speedway to do that. So if that's your thing, we've got you covered. You can build that carburetor to be as good as new. The other option is, is a 9 Super 7 carburetor that we offer here at Speedway too. Excellent choice. Every one that I send out, customers just love them. They bolt them up and go, no issues. The other option is the one that I brought here with me and it's an Edelbrock 94 carburetor. This is an excellent piece and I can talk through some of the finer points of this thing right now. I brought this old uh, Offenhauser two deuce flathead intake for a 49 to 53 motor just to kind of sit them on so you get an idea of what they look like. Uh, but these are a wonderful carb. I brought a primary and a secondary. I'll talk about the primary for just a second. The one thing I love the most about these carburetors, numero uno on my list, is that these things are made right in America, right in California doesn't get any better than that. You pay a little bit more for these carburetors, but that's a nice feather in their cap. The other thing I really like about this carburetor is it's picture perfect. So, you know, it's got just the right finish on it that it would look just like an original carburetor. You know, it's going to be right on any traditional or period correct car. So, you know, a wonderful thing there. The other thing that's really cool about this carburetor is it's got a ported vacuum port. So if you're like me, I'm running my you know, vacuum advanced distributor on my old Hemi. It's the original distributor and I need to be able to tie into some ported vacuum. That's where this carburetor really excels. It's got that all ready to go, so no problem there. It's got the two and five eighths inch neck, so any of your frog mouth scoops, Edmunds air cleaners, anything uh, old school is going to fit on this as long as it's got a two and five eighths. So it's the same as Stromberg 97 that way. It's also the same as a Stromberg 97 on its bolt pattern, so you know no problem there. If you've got an old intake that's got the three bolt pattern, this thing's going to fit right on. Incidentally, my old Edmunds intake is, is set up for an old like a Rochester 2GC so I can buy the Speedway adapters that you know, go from the 4 bolt to the 3 bolt. So those are out there too if, if that's something that, that might help you out. So really excellent carburetor. This one again is a primary carburetor so it's set up with uh, the choke and it also has the idle circuit in it. And that leads me to the next question we get a lot here at Speedway, believe it or not, and that's customers that don't know, do I need a primary, do I need a secondary, do I need one primary and two secondaries? And I can kind of talk you through, you know, kind of what we tell people in that case. Basically, if you're running one carburetor, say you're, you're a guy with an all-stock 49 Merc with a flathead in it, and you're getting rid of the old Ford carburetor because it's just worn out, you know, maybe the, the throttle's loose and all that, throttle shaft. Uh, you know, this carburetor would bolt right up. This is designed to be a hot rod carburetor, so the throttle shaft is going to be extended a little bit. So be aware of that. The reason they do that is just to open up your options as far as different linkage kits. Incidentally, we offer a lot of linkage kits here at Speedway that fit these carburetors. So like a progressive linkage if you're doing like a, a three-do setup. If you're running the single carburetor, obviously you want to use a primary carb. It's got all the idle circuits and all of that, so you're good to go. If you're running two carburetors, like I'm going to do on my old Hemi, then you'd also want to run a two primary carburetors because they're both going to open the same time, they're both going to dump fuel at the same time, they're going to run off both idle circuits. Now, if you have a three do setup, then you want to run one primary and two secondaries. I brought the secondary with me and you can kind of look at it. Of course, uh, again, the choke's gone and it doesn't have the idle circuit. So these guys are just for dumping that extra load of fuel in there when you're really getting crazy with the, with the gas pedal. So again, really neat carb. We offer them both ways. We always have them on the shelf. I talked a little bit about the linkage kits, but I'll talk about some other parts we have here too. 
This is a really slick little piece. This is a throttle kick down bracket that's meant for these type of carbs. It's from Low Car. Really nice piece and I sell a bunch of these for guys that need a kick down bracket so be aware of that. We also offer rebuild kits. So whether or not you have an old original 94 like this old girl that's been around our shop for a while or you need to you know, get into your carbs, you've been using them for a long, long time and you just need to rebuild some, we've got the rebuild kits for you too. So again, really great way to go, really nice option. Every time I send one of these out to a customer, they're just over the moon ecstatic about it. They work really well. So hopefully it helps you out. I know I'm probably forgetting about some questions that might, might uh, be needed to be answered. So don't feel bad about writing me questions you know, right, right here on Facebook or, or on YouTube. I'll get right back to you. I'm always happy to help out. Um, you know, visit our website. Give us a call. We've got a great group of techs here that, and that's their number one job is to help you out. So we're always happy to take your phone call. Very happy to, to send you what whatever you need to make that dream come true. So thanks for calling us and stopping by Speedway Motors today. Hope you come back again and we can talk some more about some different parts. Again, I'll get together with you on the nine Super 7s and some other carburetor pieces next time. So have a great day and thanks for stopping by. <music>